Hi, I'm Larry Lane from liveinacontainer.com, an architect that designs container buildings. And today we're going to design a shipping container in three simple steps. Let's do it. Step one, the first thing you need to do is just get inspired. And the way you get inspired is just go online and look at different websites and go ahead and get on Amazon, buy a few books. I've bought a few books myself. Here's one of them. It's really good. It's a kind of a coffee table book and it has all kinds of inspirational ideas in here that uh, you might want to check out this book. In fact, it's called Modern Container Architecture. It's edited by Aiden Hart and it's published by Images, Images Publishing. So that's just one of many. There's also magazines online. Dwell Magazine is one of them. Um, there's, an, there's an Architect Magazine. You may want to check that out. So just go online and check out all of the things you can see and you'll get an idea of what you like and what you don't like. Let me know where you have looked to get inspiration. Write down in the comments because I'd like to check it out too. So that's step one, get inspiration. Now step two, is figure out what kind of spaces you want to have. Of course, if it's, a, if it's going to be a house, you're going to have bedrooms, right? Well, you've already selected, I assume, the place you're going to build. So you've made all these decisions about how close it is to work and school and recreation or whatever your lifestyle requires you to have around your house. That's been decided upon, right? So now we need to design a house using the inspiration that you've already picked up from all those things that you just did in step one. And the, what you do next is get yourself a piece of paper. This is a roll of paper us architects use. Um, canary paper, white paper, it's almost like a transparent paper. And we just scribble and draw and sketch and all kinds of stuff on here. And what I'd like for you to do is make a bubble diagram. Just make a bunch of bubbles along there and I'll show you what I mean. So now you have a bubble diagram. You already know now how many bedrooms you're going to have, if they're going to be next to each other, or maybe you're going to have more than one floor. And there'll be several bedrooms upstairs, maybe one downstairs. You'll also have an idea of how many bathrooms you're going to have. Now that you've got that, that bubble diagram done, let's go to the third step. Now this, I think, is probably the most fun step. And what it is, it's taking all this information and all these ideas you have, and it's putting it into reality. It is forming words into paper and into drawings. And here's how you do it. We um, at Live in a Container have already put together a kit of parts. And I'll leave a link down on below for where to find it. And the kit of parts is just simply a piece of paper, and it has the, uh, the an image of what a 40 foot container would be, and an image of what would be a 20 foot container would be, and then all kinds of furniture that you'll need in your house. Now, here comes the fun part. What you do is you get it out. There's actually a couple of things you can do. Let me back up. Using this, you can, you can do what I'm about to say. You're gonna cut out all these pieces. You're gonna put it down on a table like I'll show you and get it in a, some kind of an orderly fashion the way you want your house to look. You can do it that way or you can toss away the, the, the scissors and instead go ahead and go on to this link over here and I'll leave that link also down below. And that link is going to share with you where you can get not only this but then you also can download it into 
a, um, a Google Drawings uh, website part. And, and I'll show you a really cool way you can use this in that. Or thirdly, if, you want, if you're really savvy with a computer and some software, I'd recommend using SketchUp. SketchUp is perfect to design homes with. That's what I've been using actually to create this for you. This came from SketchUp. SketchUp's got a whole thing called a warehouse and in the warehouse they have shipping containers in the warehouse and you can download that into your drawing and you can then manipulate them, open up, make doors, windows into the side walls. You can put all kinds of furniture that's also in the web house, where, warehouse. What am I saying? Webhouse. Warehouse. And put that into your design. It is really cool. The another software that I use on a daily basis in my architectural office is AutoCAD. I wouldn't really recommend AutoCAD necessarily unless you already know AutoCAD because it's not as user friendly as SketchUp. SketchUp is perfect for it and you can actually get that for free if you just go to SketchUp.com. They have a free version that is does, doesn't have a time limit either. You just, you just use it. It's an online service that they have for free and you can get all this in that free type of and this and many more and the and their free warehouse so check that out now let's look at this and how you can make your design come to reality by just cutting and pasting all these little pieces so i have a few of them i i copied a few of these and i'm going to need a few because what i'm going to design is a one bedroom house with one bedroom i'm sorry with one bathroom then it's going to have a living room and a kitchen a small kitchen and a dining area, a laundry area, and that's about it. And um, from my past experience, I find that to make a one bedroom house out of a shipping container or shipping containers, um, you can do it with one. But I like bedrooms that are a little bit more spacious where you can put a queen size bed in there and walk all the way around it. And it gets a little tight with just one because the interior dimension of a shipping container is less than eight feet and that doesn't leave a lot of room when you put a five foot wide bed and mattress in there so uh, I like double doubling up the shipping containers so I'm going to design with two 40 foot shipping containers you can choose whatever you want you can use more or less you can use the 20 footers also um, there are all kinds of inspirational ideas in live in a container and the design ideas category and check those out to get more ideas about what you want to do. But let's start cutting and pasting and what we find out what we can do with this.
maybe you don't really get into cutting and pasting, huh? That's okay. I've got another way. Go ahead and download that same picture and use the Google drawing part of the website and create your floor plan there. This is how you can do it. So either way you choose to do it, whether you use it the cut and paste way or you use it with a Google Drawings way or you go all out and you use SketchUp itself and draw it up and it turns out to look a lot like this in SketchUp. So that's it. Three steps. That's it. One, two, three. Three steps. Very simple way to design your own shipping container house. Try it out and write down in the comments and let me know how it all turned out for you. I'd like to know. Hey, if this video was helpful for you, give me a thumbs up and also be sure to subscribe so we can go ahead and explore more ways you can build buildings with shipping containers.